students welcome back to a new session of signatures class hope all of you fine today i am going to introduce a new chapter a solitary human voice excerpt from voices from chernobyl the oral history of a nuclear disaster which is written by Svetlana Alexievich which is taken from second module speeches and testimonies we already discussed about testimonies in the previous class we are going to discuss a historical event that is chernobyl nuclear disaster it occurred in the number 4 nuclear reactor it happened during a safety test it is the world's nuclear power reactor accident the work begins with the story of the young pregnant wife of one of the first fire fighters who responded to the fire at reactor 4 of the chernobyl nuclear power plant and of his slow and timely death when inventions are uncontrollable by the creators the people are really helpless and the situation will become terrible or horrendous this is actually what happened in chernobyl the voice recorded here is that of ludmila ignatenko wife of deceased fireman vasily ignatenko the work becomes unique because the actual victims are speaking here which is very important when we record a disaster the real signature work with authenticity which describes history through personal representations that made the work really appreciated and heart touching victim in the experience ayidukonde thanne abagadathinte theevrada namukku vektamayi manasilaakkan sadhikkum chernobyl nuclear accident il maricha vasily ignatenko enna ഫയർ ഫൈറ്ററിൻ്റെ ഭാര്യയായ ലുദ്മില ഇഗ്നാറ്റൻഗോയുടെ വോയ്സ് ആണ് നമ്മുടെ ചാപ്റ്റർ സേഫ്റ്റി ടെസ്റ്റിൻ്റെ ഇടയിലുണ്ടായ അപകടം ഉക്രൈനെ മാത്രമല്ല യൂറോപ്പിനെ തന്നെ ബാധിച്ച ഡിസാസ്റ്ററാണ് ദ ചെർണോബിൽ ഡിസാസ്റ്റർ വോസ് കോസ്ഡ് ബൈ എ ന്യൂക്ലിയർ ആക്സിഡൻറ്റ് റിയാക്ടർ ഡിസൈൻ ഫ്ലോസ് ആൻഡ് സീരിയസ് ബ്രിച്ച് ഓഫ് പ്രോട്ടോകോൾ ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് സിമുലേറ്റഡ് പവർ ഔട്ടേക്ക് സേഫ്റ്റി ടെസ്റ്റ് fewer than 100 deaths directly attributed to the accident the reactor explosion killed two of the operating staff 134 station staff and firemen were hospitalized with radioactive syndrome due to absorbing high doses of ionizing radiation around 1 lakh people were evacuated from these areas the radiation was spread by wind over russia and ukraine and soon reached as far as france and italy millions of acres of forest and farmland were contaminated and still struggling with the after effects of the disaster the chernobyl power station was situated at the settlement of prepared 10 miles northwest of the city of chernobyl and 65 miles north of kiev ukraine the station consisted four reactors each capable of producing 1000 megawatts of electric power hiroshima ilum nagasaki ilum undaya disaster ella avaru kettittundagum adu pole illa oru disaster thanneyana chernobyl um undayathu the worst nuclear disaster in the world history റഷ്യ മാത്രമല്ല അതിൻ്റെ തിക്ത ഫലങ്ങൾ അനുഭവിച്ചത് ലുദ്മിലാസ് ഓൺ വേർഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ എക്സ്പ്ലോഷൻ ജസ്റ്റ് ദ ഫ്ലെയിംസ് എവറി തിങ് വോസ് റേഡിയൻ ദ ഹോൾ സ്കൈ എോൾ ഫ്ലെയിം ദ ഹീറ്റ് വോസ് എഫുൾ ഈ വാക്കുകളിൽ നിന്ന് വ്യക്തമാണ് അപ്രതീക്ഷിതമായ ആ ആക്സിഡൻറ്റ് ഉണ്ടാക്കിയ അമ്പരപ്പ് all the firemen were like vastly they didn't take any precautions and never knew that they were going to such an area where they will lose their life idella abagadathinte vyapti vardikkanulla kaaranangalana thi anakkanulla shramathil authorities polum abagadam kanakkakkilla ludmila ignatenko and vasily ignatenko are the two characters in the chapter 
they are the newly wedded couples the strong relationship with husband and wife see in the chapter the night changed their life the unexpected twist in their life in the form of a fire at the reactor untimely visiting of the disaster changed their life let me move to Svetlana Alexievich Svetlana Alexievich was born in Ivano Frankivsk Ukraine in 1948 she has spent most of her life in the Soviet Union and present day Belarus with prolonged periods of exile in western Europe Svetlana Alexievich ne naadu kadathapettadond deergakalam western Europe il spend cheyandadayittu vannu she started her career as a journalist she developed her own non fiction genre which gathers information from different people to describe a specific historical event her works include what's unwomanly face last witnesses singi boys voices from chernobyl the oral history of a nuclear disaster and second hand time she has won many international awards She was awarded the 2015 Nobel Prize in Literature for her polyphonic writings A Monument to Suffering and Courage in Our Time. She is the first writer from Belarus to receive the award. Voices from Chernobyl won the National Book Critics Circle Award. It is a compilation of interviews with survivors of the nuclear reactor accident. The book begins and ends with the testimony of two widows. One is the young wife of a prepared firefighter who went at night to fight the blaze in his shirt sleeves. The other is the wife of a liquidator. One of the six lakh men drafted into bury the topsoil and shoot every animal in the zone. He is the last in his platoon to die. The selection made here is an edited version of an excerpt from Voices from Chernobyl by Svetlana Alexievich translated by Kate Jason. Svetlana writes in Russian. Voices from Chernobyl is the first book to present personal accounts of the tragedy. Journalist Svetlana Alexievich interviewed hundreds of people affected by the meltdown from innocent citizens to firefighters to those called in to clean up the disaster and the stories reveal the fear anger and uncertainty with which they still live Included many interviews in monologue form Voices from Chernobyl is a crucially important work unforgettable in its emotional power and honesty ee pusthakathil nammal kaanunnathu vedanayudeyum durandangaldeyum oru neenda pattigayana the different perspectives of those Svetlana Alexievich listen to come through as heart rending stories one of the speakers concludes you can write the rest of this yourself i don't want to talk anymore the author allows the words of those who lived and many who still live in the affected areas to d- tell their own story voices from chernobyl begins with a brief account of the effects on belarusia where 2 million people live on contaminated land but otherwise presents the human side of the tragedy voice from chernobyl start yunnathu belarusile chernobyl durandathinte tikta phalangale petti vivirichu kondana rendu desalasham aalkar malimasamaya aa sthalathu thamsikkunnundu it is an oral history offering first hand accounts from those involved with or affected by the disaster the longest piece is nearly 20 pages but most are much shorter and there are some courses with just a paragraph or two from each individual this allows a broad range of voices to be heard the wife of a first response fireman who took several weeks to die from radiation poisoning self settlers who stayed behind or returned to the contaminated zone russian refugees from tajikistan who preferred the risk of radiation to those of young men with guns 
conscript soldiers sent in to forcibly evacuated people or to work as liquidators plowing under crops trees top soil and houses hunters employed to kill abandoned cats and dogs helicopters pilots and unprotected men on foot who cleared the roof of the reactor after robots failed to work in the intense radiation children with birth defects those who used contaminated food and equipment for recycled it on to the black market scientists and health workers who tried to alert people to the risk of radiation officials and bureaucrats who spoke out and those who towed the line Vasily Ivanovich Ignatenko was a Soviet firefighter who was one of the first responders at the site of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant disaster. Vasily was the deceased firefighter mentioned in the chapter. Ludmila Ignatenko, wife of the deceased fireman Vasily Ignatenko. Ludmila was pregnant with her first child when her husband Vasily hurried to the scene of the 1986 nuclear disaster. She stayed with him in hospital. On April 26, 1986, the worst nuclear reactor accident in history occurred in Chernobyl and the contaminated as much as three quarters of Europe. Voices from Chernobyl is a powerful work which narrates the personal details of the stories and often touches on the broader themes. Some of the records are of the historians and philosophers themselves, but the more concrete accounts are often the most revealing. It is not only a unique exploration of the human effects of the widespread radioactive contamination, but also offers a view of the final years of the Soviet Union and of life in Belarusia. So it is very much relevant and should certainly be read in the recent revival of enthusiasm for nuclear power. വളരെ ശക്തിയുള്ള ഒരു കൃതിയാണ് വോയ്സസ് ഫ്രം ചെർണോബിൽ കൂടുതലും ജനങ്ങളുടെ അനുഭവങ്ങളാണ് വിവരിക്കുന്നതെങ്കിലും അതിലും വലിയ പ്രമേയങ്ങളും ഇതിൽ അവതരിപ്പിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് വലിയ തോതിലുള്ള റേഡിയോ ആക്റ്റീവ് വിതരണം കൊണ്ട് മനുഷ്യരിൽ എന്തെല്ലാം ദുരന്തങ്ങൾ ഉണ്ടാകുന്നു എന്ന് ഇവിടെ വിവരിക്കുന്നു സോവിയറ്റ് യൂണിയൻ്റെ അവസാന നാളുകളും ബലറഷ്യയുടെ ജീവിതവും ഇവിടെ വരച്ചു കാട്ടിയിട്ടുണ്ട് Svetlana Alexeyevich reacts very strongly against the human enthusiasm for nuclear power. The world saw what an accident at a nuclear power plant can do to the world. Those who read what she has written will never support the opening of nuclear plants in their countries. Some of the descriptions are so vivid that the readers will definitely oppose any move by the government to start nuclear plants voices from chernobyl is certainly a monument to suffering and courage in our time we know that this nuclear plan will bring us disaster who would want a nuclear reactor in his place after reading all this so it is very much relevant and should certainly be read in the recent revival of enthusiasm for nuclear power Try to answer the questions. Svetlana Alexeyevich won the Nobel Prize for Literature in Dash 2015. In 2015, Svetlana Alexeyevich won the Nobel Prize for Literature. Excerpt is taken from the book Voices from Chernobyl, The Oral History of a Nuclear Disaster. Voices from Chernobyl records the worst nuclear reactor accident in Chernobyl in the year 1986. The nuclear reactor accident occurred in Chernobyl on April 26, 1986. Question, whose voice is recorded here? Ludmila Ignatengo is a 23-year-old girl who married Vasily Ignatengo. Vasily was a prepared firefighter in the atomic reactor at Chernobyl. Ludmila's voice recorded here. Last question. Name the deceased firefighter. Vasily Ignatengo. Vasily Ignatengo was a prepared firefighter. He worked at Chernobyl. 
Vasily goes away to put out the fire at the reactor, not knowing that was a serious explosion and the place had become dangerously radioactive. He is seriously affected and is hospitalized. In the next class, we will discuss more details about the chapter. It's time to stop. Thanks for watching me. Keep safe and healthy. Have a nice day. Thank you.